Guys, the truck is finally in. Gonna give you guys a little roundabout to kind of get an idea what we got in. Again, we do these videos just so you guys get an idea what it is to be a truckload reseller. Distributors that go through the truckloads, take everything good and make it horrible for us small business owners to make money. Because not only are we fighting distributors to make money, from them picking the pallets and getting the merchandise out, we're also fighting clients trying to get a great deal. So remember guys, only buy trucks that are wrapped and have the label on the outside. Anything else, you're probably getting screwed. Good morning, YouTube. Today is Monday, March 11th, 2024. So this is what we have left after our 75% sale. That's all bathing suits, another total of bathing suits, a little bit of furniture, empty pallets, empty pallets. Gonna show you guys a little walkthrough so you guys get an idea of how much we sold. So that is to my right. That's how it looks. Right here in the center, we had racks with clothes and all that clothes is gone. Look at all the hangers. We sold a lot. And then this is the center. We had it full of shoes and all, all these other good stuff. All that's pretty much gone. And then up there we had about eight luggages and we were only left with uh, that. It's like an ombre color. Now this is the other side. And that's how it looks. Let me just go a little bit back. So we sold a lot of our items. And then we were left with one gallon of uh, clothing, a little bit of other stuff. Those already sold the two um, cribs. Baby cribs are going to come pick them up sometime this week. And I'll show you guys the front as well. And that's my sister that she's going to be helping me today. Want to say hi, Lore? Hi. <laughs> we usually have this full of like bags and that's all the bags we have left. So, you know, it was a good sale. This is the front. We still have some kid books. And then this one was full of uh, nothing but curtains and that's all we have left. And then that was full of like other little random items. And then our front walls, our hats. All this, all these were like full, full, full all the way to the front, like of how much product we had. And this is how it looks now. It's like empty, empty, empty. So I'm gonna take all those toys that are there in the front and I'm gonna condense them with the other toys. And then, cause we just bought another truck. We're waiting for it to be delivered. So then we will kind of show you guys in between a little bit of the stuff that we got. Guys, the truck is finally in. Gonna give you guys a little roundabout to kind of get an idea what we got in. So from the get-go, we've seen a lot of diapers. So that's why we went based off of this one. And a lot of brown boxes, which I love because those are mystery boxes. We got a cool bike, more diapers, big items, and then that. So yeah, guys, we'll, we'll show you guys once we're done processing and then um, pretty much how the warehouse looks once it's back to being full again. Thank you, guys. Good morning, guys. So today is day two after we got the truck. Let me close the front door first. Okay. So this is the entrance of our warehouse. We started putting a little bit more of the throw pillows. All the individual throw pillows, we put them here for a dollar. Um, what else did we get? We did get a little bit more hats, more health and beauty. Um, we got towels, bath rugs. Uh, let me see.
see what else. Let me see what else. We got a little bit more of the party supply stuff. Makeup. We're pressing it individually. I uh, got a frame. From right here, we haven't really put much out. And then this is the mess. The mess that we have now. But then eventually it will all become nice and neat but as you guys can tell from the previous video i'm sure you guys can tell that they're the walls are getting a little bit more full little by little yesterday we broke down a total of eight pallets so we got 16 more to go every truck load is different sometimes we get more than 24 but for most part it's like around 24 the most that we've gotten is 30 pallets but this is like a palette of um, furniture. This is the clothing that we've gotten so far. These are all, uh, these are three beautiful like green colored chairs. Those are displayed. So those are going to go straight to the trash. This is the wall on the other side and then the top part. And this is the rest of the stuff that we still got to process. So we will keep you guys updated. Well, tell me, babe, what are I'm you doing? I'm here to supervise my wife. I'm not here to supervise nothing. It's your show, babe. So what, are you, what were you telling me over here, babe? No, that we already put all the, the furniture and we decided to put it on this corner. So this, this is the furniture that came out so far in this truck? Yeah, so far. So Did it? How we buy it. these chairs? Oh no, these are different ones, huh? We have those in the okay. There's Lori. You want to say hi, Lori? Huh? You want to say hi? Say hi. I'm doing the YouTube. Like to... So remember, guys, only buy trucks that are wrapped and have the label on the outside. Anything else, you're probably getting screwed. But here's some of the pallets. I don't know how much Letty's been filming, but this is just a little bit of in between of the breakdown. Uh, show you guys a little bit what's came out and what it looks like. Look at that tower of chairs. That's three chairs. These pallets here. So I just got off of work and I'm here to help out Letty and, uh, and Lore clean up all the cardboard and uh, do other stuff. But yeah, here's a, like, a bike came out. That's pretty cool. We always get furniture. So, for, I mean furniture, jewelry. <laughs> jewelry always comes out. That's pretty cool. Shoes came out. Dang, this is all the clothing for this? That's a whole, that's a big, that's. So, that's pretty cool. Shoes. And then let me show you guys what's over here. What they brought over, I know those came out, AirPods, used toothbrush. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll bring you guys along when we when we break it more out, and then how we're gonna have it set up for the Sunday sale. It'll look a whole lot more different. I think they got through. How many pallets have you broken? You guys broken down so far? You have eight pallets left out of five. a 24? We have five five pallets five. left out of a 24 a pallet truck? Yeah, five and a half. One, two, three. Yeah, five and a half. 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 Yeah, five and a
and uh, you guys will see probably the next update we do probably once it's all once it's all nice and clean in here any words on this truck Ben? Hmm? any words on this truck price wise price wise it was way more expensive than all the previous ones that we bought but we haven't really gotten a lot of used clothes uh no used shoes or maybe about three pairs um we got a lot of um toys and they were completely new as you guys can tell from the walls um it's been pretty good stuff i actually had a customer come in earlier to drop off some stuff and she's seen it and she's like wow you guys got a lot of good stuff on this one so, so cool yeah, i think it's quite great awesome if so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll give you guys an update once we uh well once they break down the rest of it i'm just gonna be here as their camera crew i guess but yeah all right so you want me to hello hello today is wednesday so we're gonna give you guys a little inside. We've been working here since about 9.30 a.m. So trying to Tetris everything. We are only left with the pallet right here and the pallet straight over there. Everything else has been processed. Uh, all we gotta do is just continue Tetrising and putting stuff away and pricing, et cetera, et cetera. But Frank already um, took all the trash we had our guy pick up all the pallets. So hopefully by tomorrow we should be done breaking everything. And we should be ready for our usual Sunday sale. So this is a little bit so you guys can kind of see what are some of the stuff that we received. looking more and more full we still got a mess but it's a mess in progress put all the luggage up there and then this is the front part The makeup things are like completely full. That's the front. Today is the fourth day and this is how it's coming along. Still gotta condense that box of hangers. That's all trash, which I'm gonna be taking. And then that's a box of Christmas stuff that we're still debating if to put it out or not. That's stuff for us to take home. Stuff for us to take home. Those frames, we gotta find the spot, but I'll show you guys. So we already left the pallets to how we're gonna have them for our Sunday sale. And this is all the clothes that came out. There was a total of two, two of these are clothes. We're still gonna clean up. The, and then we got two pallets of nothing but furniture. And these are just empty pallets with cardboard. So all that's gonna get uh, thrown out tomorrow. This is a back part. So the furniture, how we had set it up, our rugs. Let me see. The, these are all pillows and throw pillows, etc. Oh, never mind. There was a total of three of clothes. And then um, we did get this portable basketball thing. It's pretty cool. And then this is the other side of the wall.
And then we got maybe like three of the big brown boxes of nothing but bras. So we decided to put them out and we sized them. So hopefully they stay nice. They are in famous tables. And then you guys already know that we always put stuff underneath. We gotta try to have as much merchandise out as we can. We also did uh, one of these for the kids, the boys, single underwears. One as well for the girls, um, one for the men's. And then the rest of the stuff, we did take our time to size or separate them by sizes. It's a lot, a lot. I wanna say over like 700 pieces of underwear. So yeah. And then the other side. And then this side. We did fill up a little bit more of like um, earrings and all that on this side as well. Most of this is going to get donated tomorrow. And yeah, these are some of the bags we got. Um, our front, our front end kind of still got to give it like a second clean throughout. <clears throat> and then this is all stuff that's going to get donated. So that's all going to be out too. What's cracking, YouTube? It is now Saturday, March 6th. It is March. Damn it. I got the date. It is... It's March 13th, I want to say. Saturday. Let me double check. March 16th, Saturday. And the truck is finally broken out. Here's a little video update of how the truck looks like once all the merchandise is out. Uh, again, we do these videos just so you guys get an idea what it is to be a truckload reseller. Uh, you're not going to buy pallets and get everything that sells, right? You're going to buy pallets and then you're going to get a little bit of these. You're going to get a little bit of these. You're going to get a little bit of these and you're going to get a little bit of these. Uh the reason we have so much merchandise is because we have the whole truck broken out. We don't sell pallets. And uh, so this our videos are for people that are trying to get into the pallet game of buying and reselling. And if you're buying and selling pallets and you're buying single pallets, you're not going to get all this merchandise all in one pallet, right? You're going to get a little bit of everything in your pallet. So when the distributors and people are charging you money for it, understand that the truckloads are coming in in thousands of dollars. So at the end of the day, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is they raise the prices on us on the truckloads again, but it's quality merchandise. So we're okay with paying the high ticket item on the higher, uh, on the higher merchandise. You know, we're, we're okay with paying the higher price, but we but we prefer to get better merchandise. Instead of paying the low price and getting credit merchandise from distributors that go through the truckloads and take everything good and make it horrible for us small business owners to make money. Because not only are we fighting distributors to make money from them picking the pallets and getting the merchandise out, we're also fighting clients trying to get a great deal. Uh, you negotiators, you resellers that try to come in and say, hey, if I buy it all, well, how much would you give me if I buy it all? Well, I want to give you the same price because I'm already giving you everybody a great price. So some people might find us rude. Some people might find us as people that don't negotiate. But when we're already offering you whatever you want to buy at half off, I think it's a great, great price. And uh, you're not buying the whole truck. You're not buying all the trash. You're not buying all my time, all my wife's time, all my sister-in-law's time. Um, but I guess I'm just going off to show you guys what came in this, this week's truck. In case you're buying a whole truckload. Don't expect gold bars to come out. 
uh, expect work to come out, you know? And sometimes it's easy work. Sometimes it's a, uh, it's an air fryer that costs $90 at half off that's gonna pay the day. But sometimes it's just a water cup, a Batman water cup that'll pay the day. But at the end of the day, if you're looking to buy Target Overstock, Target Returns, um, Target with bent boxes, stuff that take off their floors, stuff that has salvage titles, then hey, this is the channel. Because uh, we're gonna show you guys what comes in these trucks. We're gonna show you guys how they should look like when they come directly from a Target uh, place that sells them and repackages them and sells them complete without the trucks being touched. You see, we get electronics now. You see, we get good stuff. But we're paying higher prices for the truckloads. We're not paying discounted prices for truckloads, guys. So this is some of the merchandise that came out here. I hope my ranting didn't go off. But I wanted to try something new with this channel. Let me know. If not, I can just go back to talking about what items are in the wall and what came out. That was cool. A swim bike. Let's go by the middle. See a little ice chest, that's pretty cool. $17. Lots of underwear. My wife already uh, sectioned it out by price. And then, uh, let me go up here. Oh, the type of makeup that comes out. So these are restocked. We'll try to tape it. Take care of the stuff. Let's go a little bit over here as well. So single pallets. What should you be paying for a single pallet? Uh, I say you pay whatever you're looking for. And you see what's in the, in the pallet. You know, you being a single pallet buyer, you now get the options and the uh, and the actual advantage of just buying what you want. Unlike uh, when you buy the truckload, you gotta buy everything. From hats, to home goods, to shower caps, to squishmallows, to cell phone stuff, to books. I mean, you gotta be an all around seller if you're looking to get into truckloads and selling them by item. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I think we pretty much recovered everything that uh, Letty broke out on the truck this week with her sister Lore and um, the Cashflow Fam Elf. But thank you guys for watching. If there is any high-end stuff at home, then we'll extend this video. If there isn't, then that's it. We'll see you guys on the next truck and uh, on the next adventure with Cashflow Fam. If not, stay tuned for bonus footage or whatever there is.